All right, so you've downloaded Gparted and VHD Resizer. So the next thing is to open up VHD Resizer. It's going to ask you for your original file. The one we have is on the desktop. We're going to select that. You see, currently it's at uh, 50 megabytes, fixed size. We're going to type in the name of a new one, which we're going to call Expanded. And you can choose fixed or dynamic. And I'm going to enter the new size. In this case, I'm just going to expand it to one gigabyte uh, so that it'll go quickly and we can just see that it works. And there we go. We don't want to resize another. Uh, we now have the expanded drive. So the next thing we're going to do is go into virtual PC. And we're going to choose a specific uh, VPC that we've set up for this already. And go ahead and click on browse for the hard drive. And we're going to choose our new drive. And click OK. The next thing we're going to do is we start up the VPC. The first thing we're going to do is go to CD and capture ISO image, image and grab that Gparted ISO we downloaded. Click on that, click open. That way that'll load first. Now when you do this, the best way to do it is force Visa driver uh, for the video card drivers. Uh, it'll work on just about any machine if you do it this way. Now, as Gparted is uh, booting up, it may ask for some input from you. Uh, and if you're in the U.S. or using English, just go ahead and press Enter twice. And uh, just to give you a little explanation of what Gparted is going to do for us, uh, essentially what we've done with our VHD is we've created a bigger hard drive. But on that hard drive, we still have a small 50 megabyte partition, uh, NTFS partition. So now we're going to use Gparted, and we're actually going to go in and take that 50 megabyte partition and expand it and uh, resize it to one gigabyte to fit our new VHD. So once this comes up, So now we can see our current drive on there. We see the file system's NTFS. The current file system size is uh, 47 megabytes. And next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to resize or move icon up there. Um, and first, I'm going to say free space proceeding is zero. The new size, and you can see we can set to the maximum, which is uh, 1,020. And free space following is going to be zero. I'll go ahead and hit the resize and move button and hit apply and hit OK. And what it's going to do is actually going to resize that, the size of that partition to fit uh, our new VHD size of one gigabyte. So now we've done that. And because this is a live CD, you can actually just go ahead and close out the uh, virtual PC, just turn it off, and there we go. And just as a quick test to show that uh, we have just resized this, I'm just going to go to Virtual Disk Wizard and go to next and edit existing and we're going to choose our expanded one which is on the desktop click next and we can actually see here by the size that it's been expanded to one gigabyte whereas before it was only uh, 50 megabytes so that's it uh, hopefully that helps uh, anybody out there who wants to reset a vhd and um, Hope you've enjoyed the video.